Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Richtung Himmelblau. In this video, we like to introduce you to our Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel camper van. We bought a 315 CDI from 2008 and converted it in two years to our home. We are going to live in it for the next one and a half years. We are Susie, Marco and Lottie. And this is our camper van. And now let's start with our room tour. What is really special about our camper van is the floor plan. So what we did is we put in a van which is not even six meters long a toilet, a shower, a kitchen and three beds. You want to know how we did it? Come, have a look. But first, let's start from the outside. We mounted a big light system to all sides to change night into day. In order to secure our camper, we built in an alarm system and extra locks. Our windows are from Dometic Sites S6.5 Deluxe. A small one on the left side and a big one on the right hand side. We have a 200 ampere lithium battery on board and the option to charge it from the outside. On the roof we have 380 watt solar power panels. And in the inside we use a big controller panel for our solar, battery and water systems. We have three tanks. One 84 liter grey water tank underneath the car. One freshwater tank which holds 92 liters and is built in the van. And one 9 liter urine tank which is also built underneath the van. So let's take a quick look at our toilet. For us the most important thing was the easy handling. Because of its position on the back it is very easy to open and to empty. As you can see, we twisted the position of the toilet a little bit inwards, so you would have more space for your legs. In the inside, we actually have a door to the toilet, so you can have some privacy. At the rear doors, we integrated our two camping chairs. And next to our bathroom, we have a lot of storage. We separated into two levels. On the top, we used three boxes with 80 liter each, and below, we transport our kite boards and kite bags. Behind the first box, we have our toolbox with the most needed tools while we're traveling. Our camping table is integrated above the boxes. But now, let's take a look inside. In our van, we integrated three beds nearly two meters long in a van under six meters. All of our furniture is made out of aluminum profiles and composite panels. At the entrance, we built our kitchen. We build in a compressor fridge, which is usually used for adventure camper vans.
we decided to cook with gas and therefore we integrated two aluminum lightweight gas bottles with two kilogram gas each. Our cooking equipment is stored in different drawers. We have a garbage bin under our sink. Our gas cooker has a quick connection system, which allows us also to cook outside. We build in an Algena water heater. It can be operated through our standby heater, our battery or electricity plugged in from outside. And with the hot water, you can choose if you like to take a shower inside or outside the van. Ah! Oh yes, we also have a shower inside of our van. But the shower is not only to take a shower, it is also our heating room. The heat system dries up the floor within minutes. We also put our wet stuff like wetsuits in there to dry them up. To do so, we integrated a warm air supply on the bottom and an exhaust air on the upper wall of the shower. One decisive part of our floor plan is definitely the double swivel seat. With this feature, we can create a quite spacious living area inside. With three people living in a camper van, we aim to fulfill different needs. One good example is our table solution. We can use it as a dining table. We can use it for some extra space when we are cooking. And we can even have a cooking table for outside. And maybe you're wondering why we put our clothes. There you go. We have three 65 liter boxes underneath our couch. Need some more storage? We got four upper wall cupboards for toys, equipment and kitchen supplies. And we have some extra storage above the driving seats. Now wait a minute, didn't you say three beds? We can change our couch into a double bed with a high quality 15 cm cold foam mattress. We are using a heavy slide out that can hold 260 kg, therefore no extra bracket is needed. The double bed is 138 cm wide and 198 cm long. And believe me, it fits all three of us. Now, and where is the third bed? This is our third bed, which is 86 cm wide and 198 cm long. 
Another heavy slide out helps us to change between day and night mode. Thank you for joining us on our room tour. We hope you liked it. If so, please give us a thumb up or leave a comment. If you would like to see more of our van and our travels, simply subscribe to our channel. 